Monday morning. It's now 30th of January. What is in a day when it's not in your mind or not, you're not rushing somewhere, which I'm usually not doing on a Monday morning? The colors and the light, the, you can see the, the seagulls arriving from the coast. They're all flying over that direction, actually. They're probably going to the waterworks to get some rich pickings. So I also saw an osprey, and there's an osprey. You see, I see it every morning flying over the bridge, so it must be roosting, overwintering, spending the winter in Seville, staying here for the winter, and then it'll be heading up uh, north. It's actually been frosty the last couple of, of uh, days, last few days I've been out, so it's been frosty, so it has been a cold spell in, uh, in Seville, which is good because you need to have a bit of cold in the winter. And anyway, but I saw the osprey flying over, amazing. What a size of bird, and it flies, in, it comes from over that direction and just flies down the river, flies down the river, going for fishing. So it must have its pre preferred fishing spot. There's plenty of fish here in this part of the river as well. Anyway, so the week begins, the day begins. We'll be doing some busy stuff with the uh, music this week and uh, getting inspired. But as we go on, we'll have to get uh, some uh, more film for the vlog. Not really got a particular idea for this vlog, but we'll get something, we'll get something going. And here comes another aeroplane. It's on the flight path. It was an early flight, so it must be early flights. One thing I noticed the other day, I was down in the center, I had a gig in the center, had a gig with Moravia, was how many tourists are in Seville? I think it must be one of the top destinations in the whole of Europe, if not the top destination for tourists. And on Tuesday, I'm playing for some tourists, a wee gig. And there's a flight, what is that? Express. I don't know what even don't even know the name of that carrier. It's a huge plane. I was just changing the strings on the guitar that I usually use and I decided to change out the nut with this guitar. I took the nut out of it because I'm not playing this guitar, but I was just Thought it would show some of the guitars I have, not to show them off. They're not exactly expect, but well, they're special guitars. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really a show off my guitars type person. Yeah, so this is like a guitar that was from Alberto Pantoja, from his father that his father made, and the date inside it is 2011. The thing about a Pantoja is the the quality of the wood he has, you know, from his father, who's, who actually went out cutting down trees and stuff for the, the cypress trees. There's a film of him in Canal Sur on the television here, in like in the 1980s or something. It's in black and white. And they're at a, they're at a convent cutting down a, with, a wood, with a wood surgeon, cutting down a dried uh, cypress tree. And you see them smelling the wood and stuff. And, so he was a real connoisseur of the woods and he used to supply to the whole of Andalusia. So you can imagine that the wood that he has curing in the workshop is really good quality, the best quality that he had. And that it's been there, it's, he cures it naturally, you know, for like 20, 30 years, 30 years. The wood on this must could be the cypress. Check it out, the guitar anyway. And it has a special design on the back. And this is cypress, this is Spanish, Royal Spanish cypress. It's hand polished and it's all done by hand, you know, the, these in, inlays with the fleur de lis and stuff. So I had a couple of things done to it, but I just really like this guitar, the side of it. It's a little guitar, it's a small guitar. So it's just like the thing, uh, Alberto Pantoja, the father, was always experimenting. Well, his son's always experimenting as well. It's hard to play more one, more than one good guitar at the time. This is like a, it's a special kind of guitar. This it's like a nice, it's like almost like a collector's piece. It's almost like a collector's piece, but it does have a lovely sound. <laughs> Remember, I was in, 
I was in the workshop one night time one day in the evening with this guitar and uh, Alberto was there, Paco was there and his mum was there. She's always in the, she's really nice, Esperanza. She was in the workshop as well. So I was trying this guitar, I was playing this guitar alongside one of the very new ones that Paco makes, you know. And we're, we're uh, and I, I was to see what the difference of sound was. And Esperanza, she's got a really good ear for the guitars because she's been with her husband, she was there with her husband. You know, he started building guitars in 1960, so 60 years ago. She's been 60 years with her ears listening to people playing, come in at the workshop and the, the guitar, she knows all about it. She's always there helping out as she works there as well. And uh, she was like, when I played the, the modern one, the modern guitar like from the sun, she was like, and then I played this one, she says, well, this one sounds more like a girl. It sounds more feminine, feminine. And the other one is more masculine sounded. It's a nice, it was a nice way to talk about it. Because it does, because this has a very sweet, has a sweet sound. Alberto Pantoja, handmade original flamenco guitar, beautiful. But I'll show, uh, I'll get some of my other guitars as well out on another day in another vlog and talk about that. <laughs> Sound, so I'm just recording with the phone. It doesn't make a nice, you can't hear the, the real quality of it, but yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. 